NASA is preparing big missions to explore other worlds. Here on Earth, the agency is working on something that could change the way we travel. Nine News reporter Maya Rodriguez sat down with the head of NASA during his visit to Colorado for an exclusive interview that gives a glimpse into the future. From a future human mission to the red planet. We've uh, pretty well defined the journey to Mars. To the International Space Station in low Earth orbit. We're very comfortable operating here. As NASA looks to the future, it's also looking back to its original roots. It's our heritage. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden heads up the nation's space agency and sat down with Nine News for an exclusive interview at the 32nd Annual Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. He says while most people know about NASA's exploration of other worlds, some of its work isn't as well known. We had fallen behind in aeronautics. Aeronautics, the science behind traveling through the air, typically experienced on flights around the country and the world. Before America sent men to the moon, NASA first started out as NACA, the National Advisory Council on Aeronautics. We have tried to make an effort to make sure that that people understand NASA's total portfolio. That means also looking at how to develop faster planes capable of carrying cargo and people around the world at greater speeds, called supersonic, from 900 to nearly 4,000 miles per hour. That would be like going from Denver to New Delhi, India in about two hours. The good thing is we've been working on this for decades, for years, really, and, and we have been doing some work on what we call a low boom supersonic demonstrator out at at uh, Edwards Air Force Base at the Armstrong Flight Research Center. NASA's working with companies like Lockheed and Boeing to develop these futuristic planes. But before people can get on board, there needs to be more testing and deep scrutiny from the FAA. Depending on how well we do in providing the data to the FAA, the, the limiting factor is how fast the FAA can modify the regulations that allow supersonic flight over ground. In the meantime, air travelers will have to live with the technology at hand and just imagine what the future might bring. Maya Rodriguez, Nine News. Bolden says NASA is working on improving some of its aeronautic testing centers and plans to invest in aeronautic programs at colleges and universities. The president's 2017 federal budget set aside $25 million for that program.